Welcome to part two of our New York vlog. So in last week's video, we did a lot of our like favorite places and things to do in New York. We are actually staying at the One Hotel in Brooklyn. So this is kind of a new area for us. We're exploring more around here, but today we are headed into Soho. We tried this bagel spot last time that we all literally can't stop thinking about. So we're gonna go back. It's this place called Pop-Up Bagels. I can't wait. Is that the funniest show ever? Yeah. We were like crying, it really laughing. brought me to tears multiple times. <laughs> now we're taking the subway at 12.30 a.m. Good morning. Woke up really early for me to go get this croissant cereal at Apartment 4F. It's like a Parisian bakery coffee shop that we went to a couple days ago and they literally sold out. So Brandon actually got there earlier. He's bringing it back to the hotel. So I'm turning my ass right back around. Brandon just brought back the croissant cereal and a normal bag of croissants. These, these are incredible. These are the croissant cereals that they sell out of. <laughs> Look how little they are. They're Brooklyn size. They're so little. There's so many in here. And I think they're freshly made. Like each one is an individually made croissant. So this little bag was $20. Everyone look at Victoria's outfit. How cute is she? Buy 2K. Yeah, nice shoes. Good morning. A morning walk to the subway station. This is my outfit today. I have a pair of Brandon's jeans on, my Maison flats, which I've broken into, and I've been wearing this sweater from Balbon Golf Women. And it was cool out this morning, but it's already feeling hot.
<laughs> Where are we going, bro? <laughs> so we're back in our hotel room and we're talking about how we've been going home at an earlier and earlier time every day. It's not even 4 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> we're exhausted. It's just cloud. hotel this morning around 6 a.m. so we were so tired but we did a little yoga session with the edge and the clouds started rolling in so as you saw we can even see much of the view but now we're headed out it's around 1 p.m. last full day here oh yeah what'd you think of uh, dinner last night so good the chicken liver oh yeah chicken liver plate we went to this new restaurant called bar bete it was like a french like tapas restaurant and all of the food was really good. Really loud inside, but really good little dish. called BK the Pooh and I just had so much fun. She's gonna be active on her stories. guys it is our last day we are packing up and getting ready to leave last night we went to dinner with Melody and Owen we went to a new place called Chechis Chechis delicious had like three of these incredible burgers with some steaks highly recommend Melody said the reservation was quite hard to get so if you can get it it was delicious we definitely go again we've been here for eight days but all of us I think collectively are like really ready to go home and Nick is sick and tired of New York <laughs> I'm actually also going to get my hair cut and potentially a tone so I'll see you guys after the break. <laughs> So 
we had our favorite Brooklyn bagel this morning. Can you try pop-up? It's a really fire bagel. Might say pop-up. But obviously if you're going for a sandwich, you have to go to Brooklyn. They're both really good. So we are actually back home. Got a couple questions about how it was traveling with a dog. And Brooklyn is a pretty timid girly. She's around seven months, so she's still a baby. So we thought it'd be good to travel with her while she's still young and get her that city girl experience. And she actually did a really good job. It was actually pretty easy traveling with her. I will say New York is pretty overwhelming as is, and I feel like we always do so much in a day. So having a dog just kind of like amplified that. If you're up for it, I think it's really fun, but it does add a lot of extra work. We fly Alaska Airlines and it was $100 both ways. So it is, can get pretty expensive, but you can put her in a little pet carrier and just tuck her underneath your seats. If you have a registered service animal, it's complimentary, but you do have to register that with the airline beforehand. She actually is coming to Italy for our wedding, so we will see how that is once we get there. But going around New York is pretty easy. We had a little bag, as you saw, that we always carried her in, so anytime she got overwhelmed or street noises were too loud, we just carried her. Most of the stores and restaurants were dog-friendly as yeah. well, so like, we literally, out of all the restaurants we went to, only two of the restaurants kind of gave us a hard time about it. She's so good and she's so tiny. Like I think she weighs probably like four pounds now. She ended up being so quiet and didn't make a peep. She doesn't really bark. So they ended up just letting it slide. And our hotel was actually very accommodating. They dropped off like dog beds, food bowls, water bowls, everything, which was really nice. Before booking the hotel, make sure you check pet policy and all that stuff. But one hotel was very accommodating, which is really nice. This is actually our first time staying in Brooklyn. Actually, one time we stayed in Williamsburg at that apartment, which we really liked, but our first time staying in like Dumbo, which is probably our favorite area in Brooklyn. And the one hotel did have a house car, which dropped us off anywhere within the three mile radius, which we probably used almost every single day. Yeah. So that was really nice. Highly recommend that hotel. It is expensive, but it is pet friendly as well. So we'll probably just continue staying there. We're probably gonna leave her at home for future trips. I don't we'll, know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we'll bring her along. It's really, she really was quite easy. But leaving the house is not just grab your bag, it's go, and go. You have to bring a water bottle, dog food, snacks, bag, wipes. We found ourselves forgetting our stuff. Yeah. And bringing her stuff. Brooklyn is still pooped. Oh, baby. That was the most she's ever walked in her entire life. Yeah, so if you were actually thinking of traveling and you have a little bit more of a timid dog, Having a dog bag and training them to be comfortable in a dog bag is great because getting yeah. on the subways, getting in cars and stuff like that, they're just much more comfortable and yeah. chills. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.